heat reaction video. Let's talk about it. Before I even say anything about it, though, let me do my little intro. What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. If y'all are new, welcome to the channel. It's Jeremiah Two Fly, and I am back once again with another video. First of all, before I even get into all the comments and everything that was said in that video, I just want to thank y'all so much for even getting the video to where it is today. For the past two weeks that it's been now, it's accumulated almost 5,000 views, which is a record on the channel. It's the most popular vid on my page right now. So I do appreciate y'all nonetheless, whether the feedback's positive, negative, whatever the case may be, the video got a lot of engagement and I appreciate y'all for that. And that video is the reason why we hit 500 subs. So let's clap it up, y'all. Thank y'all so much. We're halfway to 1K. Now in this video, as y'all see by the thumbnail and the title, I'm gonna be reading all the hate comments and responding to all of them. Originally, I was supposed to get the guys to do it with me, but you know, man, we about to go on spring break. And I want to get this video out as soon as possible. So, I'm going to be reading all the comments. This is not my usual content, but I just thought they were very interesting. And I kind of, there was a lot of comments, and I didn't feel like responding to each and every single comment one by one. So, we, so why not make a video? Why not make a video? Hope you guys do enjoy today's video. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications, do all that. Share the video as well if y'all rock with it. If y'all rock with me, if you think your friends would rock with me, share the video. Without further ado, Let's get right into it. Roll my intro. Nobody, nobody. Nobody, nobody. When I tell y'all it is only up from here, it is only up. I'm at a bitch in New York. She want me by the door. I tell her, no, bitch, hit the door. Selling her all of my toys. I'm falling behind these more. Remember, a nigga was poor. Never will got both of our doors. Let me put on this, 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 this spec, the spectacles for this one. All right, boom. So we got the video pulled up. Let's read these. Let's read some of these comments. Okay, let's start off with this one. If y'all actually listen to the whole song, you'll be amazed because not all of these songs are ass. Y'all aren't letting it marinate. First of all, a lot of y'all are saying this about what we did with the songs. The reason why we don't let the songs marinate, was it wrong? Yes. But the reason why we did it is because we are average listeners just like you are. Just because we are listening live to an album in front of an audience, does not mean I can't still have an opinion on what I like and what I don't like. I let it, I let every single song, and I say I even though I was with two other people, I let the songs play for at least a minute and 30 seconds. If they don't sound good to me after the first minute and 30 seconds, why would I torture myself and keep listening to the song? Let me be, let's be honest. I want, I want to be like as, as transparent as possible while remaining somewhat positive. I just don't know. I just don't see myself listening. You know what? Move, moving on. I feel like I responded enough to that comment. This is his best album. That says enough. Glazer. Nah, nah. I, I can't say that. I can't call him a Glazer because he he might he might just enjoy the music and that's okay. Hey, music is subjective. You know what I'm saying? Y'all just not in 2093. I guess I guess I guess, I guess not. You need to listen to it a few more times. This is an artist album not another mixtape we did listen to it a few more times and a few of the songs did grow on me i'm not gonna lie like uh one of the one of the songs hold on let me let me find which one it is i'm gonna go through the chapters mr in between it bro we did not like that song let me play the clip in between nickel what <laughs> Like that we back at square one bro see i feel like in the in this one i would i wasn't i wasn't letting it marinate and that 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 was wrong i can't lie but i listened to it um i listened to the whole thing like literally a day or two later it's not it's not bad at all it's not bad brain dead take not gonna lie i did respond to this here's what i need y'all to understand this is a first listen review obviously if i listen to it for the first time I'm not gonna love it. I, I can understand the people who called the take brain dead if we didn't like let the songs marinate. That makes sense. But to just call the whole thing in general a brain dead take is kind of it's kind of stupid. Kind of makes yourself sound brain dead. No offense, but you, you can't be saying that. Terrible opinion, but I respect it. If you're just here for the rage songs and crazy beats, then it makes sense. But this is by far his best album. The songs, yeah, 
most of these song, albums have better songs, but as an album, this is by far the best songs actually make sense and are connected unlike the other albums that are just a bunch of good songs put together and calling it an album. And the album also has a story and the production is insane. Maybe it'll grow on y'all. I don't know. But for me, this album is insane. He called the opinion terrible, which I don't know if I'm rocking with that. But to say that he respects the opinion, that's all I need. That is all I need. Thank you so much. Regardless of how you felt about the video, you still respected our opinion because at the end of the day, it's our opinion. I wouldn't say personally that I was here for just the rage, for just the rage songs and stuff like that. I'm all for people evolving. But if you're just going to change the production, how I felt about it, if you're going to change the production, that's one thing. That's cool. I don't have a problem with that. But if you're going to change the production of the album, but the lyrics don't sound like the lyrics don't have any substance. If the flow is just not it, I'm not going to like it. Simple. Even though in the video I said I don't like it because it's too slow, I chose the wrong words. Like, I had no problem with it being slow. It was just that it was slow and it had no no feel. I didn't I didn't feel anything when I was listening to it. This is too slow for ye, bro. That dude is tripping. You guys need to understand. Rage music is repetitive as hell. There's no creativity in it. This is Ye's best project to date. Already has over an 80 score on album of the year. This has the this has his highest score he's ever received. He's evolving his sound as an artist. I'm glad he didn't cater to the TikTok rage music likes that students in the past. This is the new sound. The production on this album is incredible. He's not falling off LMAO. You just need to open your ears and listen to non-rage music. First of all, I put in the title, not in the title, in the thumbnail that he was falling off. Y'all know I didn't feel like that. Those who are subscribed to me and know who I am as a person, I like experimenting with my thumbnails and my titles. No, I don't actually think he's falling off. He's not falling off at all. Bro's got number two album on Apple Music right under Kanye. So he's definitely very far from falling off. If everybody is talking about this album, that should say something. He's definitely not falling off. And an 80 score on, on, album, of the, on album of the year. Does that mean, does that really mean something? Because at the end of the day, that sounds more of an opinionated thing and not fact. Me, me personally, in my opinion, my opinion is also not a fact. I still think Ye and Ty Dolla Sign dropped album of the year so far. Some may agree, some may disagree. That's okay. I was very, I was very open-minded. I don't know if y'all could tell in the video. I was willing to hear this man's music and... I just, I just wasn't rock with it. Simple. Average TikTok fans, SMH. None needs to be said, that, cause that, that's, that's just stupid. What? Average TikTok fans, you don't know me, bro. You don't, you don't know me. You don't know how much of a fan I am. So, stop. Delusional. What the f are we listening to the same album? This was fire. I didn't even know you existed a few days ago. Yeah, I still think this is the best album of 2024 so far. The fact that you didn't know Ye existed a few days ago tells me all that I need to hear. That is insane. How? How? This album is amazing. It's an acquired taste. If you are if you're a traditional rap fan who doesn't have an expanded taste of other genres, you're not gonna I just don't get it. Not really for you. Here's the thing with me. I do have expanded taste in other genres of music. Those who know me in real life know that I have an expanded genre. Expanded genres of music. I listen to Bonnie M. They are a 70s group. Barely anybody in my friend group knows about them. That should tell you all you need to know about my music taste. Now y'all are using this as an excuse to say that he's evolved. Only thing that's changed is production. That's it. Other than that, pretty much the same old beat, let's be honest. He just he just needs to work on flows a little bit. It is an acquired taste. You're right. My ring light just turned off. Hold on. There we go. Um, yeah, you're right. It is an acquired taste, but I don't see much evolution, bro. I don't agree at all. I think this album great, but not gonna lie, this reaction was funny as hell. Thank you so much, my boy. Y'all are some nerds for real. Your name is Louie. Moving on. Why the fuck is everyone so mad because y'all don't like the album? I love this album. I think it's my favorite Yeet album, but I'm not going to expect everyone else to also like it because it's a completely new sound. Thank you. Thank you. I need, I need, I, bro, come on. 
every everyone was furious but at the same time now that i've like read all the comments and watched the video again for myself i can i can kind of i can kind of understand why Kind of. This is too slow for you. No, y'all are too slow for you. You guys dead ass have TikTok brains. Y'all let me know in the comments what's y'all's definition of a TikTok brain because I feel like people are just chatting. What like what are what are, what are y'all talking about? TikTok brains? What? Anyway, trust guys, catch this wave. He's doing something new and it's amazing. It is not all that. Maybe with maybe with time it'll become amazing, but for right now. Ain't nothing special, bro. This is times more innovative than the usual music artists have been delivering recently. Don't worry if you're not enoughly creatively. What? If you're not enoughly creatively attuned to acknowledge this as boundary breaking, but grasp its significance. Blazer. Blazer. I, that's all I can say because this is nowhere near boundary breaking or innovative. No. No. This is the worst album review I've ever seen. And you're entitled to believe that, but at the end of the day, it's whatever. I hated this album at first, but it definitely grows on you after a couple more listens. I have I have experienced that. It did grow on me. There are still some songs I really don't like. Let's go through some. I still think Keep Pushing is trash. Um, uh, let's see, let me hear. I still think I love is garbage. I still think that song sucks. That's not that's not changing in the slightest. So yeah, y'all need to just quit this YouTube terrible take. See, telling me to quit over a music opinion is kind of crazy. I'm not gonna lie. Regardless of the opinions that people have in these comment sections, I do not care. I don't. I'm gonna keep going. Y'all not y'all not seeing the last of me. I don't I don't care. This mad good. I don't know what. I don't what people okay. I get what you was trying to say. It's mad good on what people hating for. Y'all need to give new music a chance. See, I don't like when people keep saying y'all need to give new music a chance. We definitely gave this new music a chance and it was not good. Simple. This actually might be his best album, no skips. Cap. Cap. That's all I gotta say. Cap. I don't know who the other kids in the video are, but they strictly listen to rage music. Open your ears, there's more to music than just rage music. Bro really said King Carson is better, that's wild. I don't even remember where he said where he said that. They definitely don't listen to rage music. I mean we do, but it's not like that's not like y'all acting like that's the only genre we listen to. Keep it real. Let's not do that. Recorded this in prison. I listened to it again and I actually think it's his best album. Maybe with time, I'll think this is his best album. To me, his best album is Afterlife. And it sounds somewhat similar to 2093. But I just enjoyed Afterlife more. That, that That's just my opinion. Gotta be one of the worst at reactions I've ever watched on this app. And that's hard to do. Wait, how, wait, I read that so wrong because he wrote it as gotta be one of the war at reactions if ever watched on this app and that's hard to do see i can't even pay you no mind i cannot take you seriously because you don't know how to type game it's all good interesting take i wouldn't say it's his worst album but it's very different from pretty much everything that is to be Yeet. the og upbeat music to roll on this is more a look inside his brain type of album which in itself and within the lyrics is actually really insane. He's very creative and very talented. Hopefully next album you enjoy more of the sound that you guys like. This is These are the type of comments that I appreciate because they acknowledge that my opinion is not the same as theirs, but they're willing to challenge it in a somewhat respectful and open-minded manner. That Those are the those are the type of comments that I appreciate. After hearing the shit y'all took, Y'all took on breathe. I respectfully exited the video. Y'all didn't even try to give it a chance before you started with the 2020, stay in 2020 take. 2093 is album of the year. First of all, no it's not. Second, we did give it a chance. Like I said, after a minute 30, if I don't think it's good, I'm not gonna keep it going. We gave it a chance. He didn't deliver, simple. But after listening to breathe another two, three, four times, 
it's a good song. Like I said, please pay attention to the fact that the video is re first listen review. First listen. I'm not gonna like it on the first listen. I'm pretty sure that's like, that's given with any piece of art. I'm not gonna like it on the first listen, on the first look, but when I start to understand it better, I start to grow a liking to it. Or if I just think it's garbage, I'm gonna continue to have the belief that it's garbage. Simple. He put his most effort into this one. I can agree with that. I can agree with that. Lil Wayne definitely saved the song. Lifestyle wasn't that bad. It wasn't that bad, but it was like... First listen, I was like, bro, what the hell? It didn't sound like Wayne and Yeet came together and made a song. It seemed like Yeet made it, called Wayne, told him, deliver this quick verse real quick. Send it back. I, I, I kind of don't like features like that. I kind of want it to seem like there's a, y'all are matching each other's vibe. Make it at least sound like y'all was in the stool together. But I just, I, di I didn't get those vibes. Unlike I did with the future song. Keep living in the past with the old overrated songs. This fire, what are y'all talking about? Psycho CEO crazy, power trip underrated. Breathe, straight up banger. Just cause he's trying new things don't mean it's trash. Nobody is saying it's trash because he's trying new things. Nobody's saying that. Please stop. I don't care that he's trying new things. It's not trash because he's trying new things. It's trash because he's not trying at all with the lyrics. And the flows. It sounds so lazy. And I don't know if we're listening to the same project, but those are the vibes I got first listen. That's what I got. This is best album. Y'all just scared to change. Like I said in the comment, in my reply, scared to change? No. I listened to Pink Tech and thought it was good. A lot of people think it's trash, but I thought it. I thought it was good. Now the rock songs suck. I'm not gonna lie, especially the Chop Suey cover. That was that was terrible. But overall, the album wasn't that bad. First time I've seen a rap Instagram commenter in real life. Technically, this is not real life, it's still the internet, but you do you, buddy. Bro, what beat y'all like? Every f beat y'all hate. We don't hate it, we just trolled it. Y'all seen how much we was laughing? We were trolling, we weren't being serious. Now, if I was doing this album review by myself, if you took time to watch my other videos, I'm very open-minded. But I wanted to do it with friends because they are huge Yeet fans. So I asked them, hey, y'all want to do this video? They said, yeah. So we did it. Every time we look at each we are not serious when we're around each other and it's kind of funny. So if you got the vibes that we hated the beats, that's not the case. We were just like, we were just, we were just trying. Don't ever do reactions again. No. Why would I listen to you? Bro, why y'all hating this album is going to be the whole lot of red situation in here. First of all, don't ever compare this album to a whole lot of red because a whole lot of red was getting scrutinized scrutinized when it first came out we scrutinized this album on first listen but a whole lot a whole lot of red bro if you hear that at the shows the only reason that the whole lot of red effect was the whole lot of red effect was because of the shows as soon as the covid and the mask mandate was lifted and everybody started going to concerts again that's when the whole lot of red album narrative shifted. That's when it shifted. It's not, it was not because of, oh, the album's actually good. No, it's because it sounds good at concerts. Because people realized it was made for concerts. This album's not gonna get the same treatment. Maybe, maybe not. But I, I don't compare the two. I can tell y'all just trying to hate. Maybe we were. Maybe we were. Ain't much else to say about that. Yeah, y'all just showed that the world ain't ready for a concept album or anything experimental. Y'all stuck in 2019 and we in 2093. We in 2093. First of all, shut that corny shit up, please. Shut that up. That ill. Y'all are y'all are so corny. Oh my god. Why would you say that? Second of all, like I said. This is bare minimum. This album was bare minimum when it came to being experimental. So, cut cut that out, please. How y'all gonna laugh and bump to the song? We're laughing at each other. 
can friends not be friends? God damn, bruh. That is so weird. Nah, at first, I was wondering why y'all was getting so many dislikes and hating in the comments, but after watching the video, I see. Y'all don't like the album, that's cool, but y'all skipping and saying the be trash five seconds in, and Benny X is on the album. I didn't hear the Benny X tag, so I, I wouldn't, wouldn't know. That's, that's one. Two, we did not skip five seconds in. Y'all are exaggerating like a mother. That was, it was not five seconds. At most, 45. It was definitely not five seconds. Why is y'all just saying anything? What are y'all talking about? Dumbass kid with the red rag on his head said this ain't nowhere near Kanye's album. Guess they must have not heard beautiful big titty women don't fall out of the sky. Oh, we heard it. That was trash. But my point and his point still stand. This is nowhere near Kanye's album. And I don't care what y'all got to say about that. Kanye has album of the year. Point blank period. And Yeet's not coming close. I'm sorry. We can agree to disagree on that subject. Give them a week. They didn't even finish the second parts of the song. It's been two weeks. How are you just now commenting on this? Alright. When it not sounds like bro, can y'all can y'all like proofread y'all comments before you sub before you even post them? Please. God, y'all so illiterate. Y'all need to be fed simple hi-hats and 808s like up to me. Can't appreciate this insane production, harmonies, transitions, and inflections. He's also not a mumble rapper. Yes, he is. Y'all just aren't on his wave. I was alive before L, but it's up to me for after now. He can actually, he actually can rap. Y'all just don't listen and have no ears for progression in his music. What's progression? Because he changed production, oh, it's so progressive, it's very instrumental. That is the bare minimum, y'all expect that from anybody. That's expected, change your production, but if you, bro, I listened to the album, bro, multiple times. I was alive for 4L, but it's up to me for after. What am I supposed to do with that? Like so many people didn't already use those lines. Autumn used that on his Midnight Club album. Somewhat similar to that. He can actually rap. He hasn't showed he hasn't showed that yet. He has he has showed it on some songs, but bare minimum. Most garbage review I've ever seen. To each their own. This album is on a theme. You just gotta envision it. Futuristic. It's because most people come in this album expecting 2021 yeet. Ironic too, because it's titled 2093. You know what? I can I can respect this one because I did come in expecting it to sound all quick and you know whatever the case is. That's what I expect. Delete this. No. My channel. I do what I want, bro. I'm most likely not going to read every single comment, but I'm going to read the ones that it stuck out to me the most. Let's see. I like a few of the songs y'all dislike, but y'all vibe with most of the same cuts and shit on the right ones. What's your definition of the right ones? The right ones are the ones that sound different, right? Just because they sound different doesn't mean they're right. Y'all are scared to like it. You want to not like it so bad. You're really vibing in your heads and just acting like y'all ain't feeling it. I don't need to act for a camera. If I'm not feeling it, I will let y'all know that I'm not feeling it. If I'm feeling it, I will let y'all know that I'm feeling it. Simple. That's how our reaction video works. Y'all seen our reactions. And we don't we don't fake nothing over here. Call this a reaction. You skipped half the album, bro. Grow up. I think you need to grow up, man. Again, music is subjective. If we don't like it, we're entitled to not like it. And if we don't want to listen to the whole song, we are entitled to not listen to the whole song. Yeah, you contradicted yourself. You need to grow up. Bars are so lazy, it's all production. Probably one of the hardest listens I've had in years. Hip hop is dying. Thank you. That is exactly how we felt. But hey, people are not going. People are not going to understand that take. People just not going to get it. Don't ever rate ever again come to my channel ever again simple don't come back here if you can't expect if you can't be open-minded and respect other people's opinions don't come back it's funny he's above your favorite artist in what universe stop stop let's not do that y'all like the five percent out of a hundred percent of people who think this is ass that's how i know y'all's music 
taste in music is so bland and generic. First of all, you don't know anything about our music taste. You made that assumption off of one video. So go watch all my other videos before you make an, a, 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 gene a bland, broad assumption like that. Y'all should go rob the gas station and keep listening to Lil Baby then. When did I ever say I like Lil Baby? Y'all are just talking to make yourselves look like you're right. Y'all are loud and wrong. LMAO, dislike the f out of this video. You want a cookie? Y'all some L's, bro. Only listening to songs for 20 seconds. Like, what the f bro? Delete your channel. Y'all are so mad that y'all are telling me to delete my channel. I just think I just think that's hilarious. Because you're going so far over me not liking an album and choosing not to not to listen to it a song in its entirety. There's people listening to songs for two seconds and going to trash. Do you see me doing that? Really watch the video before you comment some shit like that. Because you, it seems like you're just you were just skipping ahead to songs you wanted to hear us react to. So no, stop. Y'all really trying to hold back each evolution, bro. Let the man evolve. What did I say? I'm all for people evolving, and I'm pretty sure I said it in the video as well, but y'all skip past that. Y'all skip past that. Y'all skip past it, and it's okay. Okay, that might be all. I said it once, and I'll say it again. Everybody's entitled to their opinions, and to all the people who respected ours, I appreciate it. All the people who had some critiques, I appreciate y'all too. At the end of the day, the album grew on me somewhat. And my rating of it now is definitely, at first it was probably like a 4 out of 10. Now it's like a 7, 7 and a half. That's it for today's video. I hope y'all got more clarity on how I felt about the comments. And everything that everybody had to say about our reaction. But I hope y'all did enjoy the video. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications, do all that. Share the video as well, man. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank y'all for 500 subscribers. We're on the road to 1K. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Bust out Rolly Avalanche. Yeah, my old bitch average. This my first time rapping it. I might go retarded shit. Bentley Coop, I'm dashing it. Standing my money, I'm tall as shit. Told him, don't you doubt the kid. Told him, don't you doubt the kid. I run up 30 on 30 on 30. When I'm in the streets, I stay too sturdy.